more. Can you please repeat the question again to you? Yeah. My name is Janice Kutanda. I'm from the Philippines and I'm currently a second year um, student, post degree diploma for business. Hi, I am Gurneet Singh Chadda and I'm from India. So I came to Coast Mountain College in 2021 as a student of business diploma. And I would say I have literally enjoyed my time over here. It has been a wonderful journey and I'll be more than happy to discuss about that journey further. Hello, my name is Tarjam Joseph Ponce. I'm from the Philippines. I used to be an international student of Coast Mountain College. Now I'm an alumnus of Coast Mountain College, having completed my post degree in business from 2021 to 2023. Well, there are a lot of differences in the academic studies back in India and here at Coast Mountain College, Canada. The first difference I can think of is that in India, mostly the studies are pen and paper based. Uh, but here we used Brightspace as one of the applications to complete our assignments. Uh, moreover, I feel one other difference is that back in India when I was in college, um, we used to have classes for seven to eight hours in a day five days a week but here there is an option to choose your courses and you can uh, uh, choose your courses according to your wish and then you usually have a class of two to three hours every day which i feel is a better work-life balance compared to the um, professors and instructors i've had back home the instructors here at post modern college are so and so approachable. It's like, I didn't know that instructors could be like that because my experience was like, I was so scared of them. But the instructors that we've had here are so helpful and so supportive. Um, we can just go up to them after class, sometimes even during, or you can send them an email and they're just, they're really easy to, to talk to and to ask advice from. And that's one of the things that I really appreciate about um, Coast Mountain College and the instructors here. So for the uh, differences in the education here in Canada and in the Philippines, there are several differences. First, language barrier. Like here in Canada, the language that's being mainly used or used is English. But in the Philippines, we're also using English, but English isn't my uh, native language. And lastly is the instructors. So here, I was surprised with how my business instructors educate the students here in Canada, especially at Coast Mountain College. So I encountered Sylvie, Jonathan Stone, Evan Van Dyke, Scott Van Dyke, and I was surprised with the method of teaching that they showed us, uh, specifically in terms of giving students unlimited attempts towards assignments, quizzes, You know, when I came here, I didn't expect a lot of sources. I thought it's a small town and a small college. But to my surprise, this college has the best resources to help students. Um, to mention some of them, the first one is the learning assistant team, uh, which is always there to help you. When I was facing some difficulty in the initial days, Jonathan Stone was there to help me out with the studies. And then during assignments, I came to know that the library team also helps you with citations and finding material for your assignments and on top of that all the instructors have been a great support throughout my two years of studying business diploma at the college 
So one of the things that I really appreciate, particularly here at the Terrace campus, is the student housing. And if you're an international student, this is a dream. So the, the bed, the rooms, the suites, the, the kitchens, the Wi-Fi, the laundry, everything. Everything is so high-tech and they're all provided to you to, so that you can um, focus on your studies and do well in school. And so I really, I really do appreciate the building and um, it's a really good place to study, to say the least. And one of the things that I've taken advantage of and is also offered to international students is scholarship grants, um, bursaries, and awards. And I am very fortunate to be a recipient of one of the bursaries from last year. And it really does help um, to, you know, help finance and support your education here. But the, 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 the thing is that Post Mountain College gives a lot of these resources to you and you just have to grab them, ask around, ask for help and advice and they'll be able to give them to you. I'm, I am always thrilled to share this recently that I got an honor when I finished my post degree in business here at the college and I garnered a GPA of 4.19. And most specifically, I got the Lieutenant Governor's Award for Diver uh, Diversity, Inclu Inclusion, and Reconciliation. But more than that achievements for me, it's me fostering connections within the community and knowing more about the Indigenous culture here in Terrace, BC. I understand the work-life balance. You have to work, you have to earn money, but I would suggest my uh, colleague or peers who are coming after you know to the college in the future just take it easy don't run behind money work 20 hours take your uh, do your studies it will help you a lot in the long term because you will earn skills which pay really well in Canada so for any of the international students out there who are thinking of coming over to Coast Mountain College or have already been have already applied and enrolled to the college, I'm saying make the most of your stay here. You know, there's so many opportunities for you to succeed. So many people you can meet and you know get to know. Cultural differences are not a thing. You know, you learn so many more things from other people and the similarities that similarities that you see from other people is they are one of the pieces of education that you get. It's not just something that you pick up in the classroom. I would uh, suggest them to read a lot. Uh, read anything you like. Read your novels, read news, read everything, uh, whatever you like. Just don't take it as a test, take it as a hobby and you will learn a lot and it will uh, ultimately help in your writing assignments. So I've been using this mantra ever since I finished my bachelor's degree in the Philippines. So it's the mantra that, that says, all it takes is a lot of patience, persistence, perseverance, and prayers. <laughs> I think that's it. I don't want to get longer. <laughs>